there! In this video, I am going to help you troubleshoot an issue that can occur with the Google Drive for Desktop app when files fail to sync with the app. This issue often occurs because you have an unstable internet connection. So the internet connection can be unstable because your computer falls asleep um, or it can be unstable because the Wi-Fi just becomes disconnected from your router. So um, when the internet connection um, is disrupted, the Google Drive for Desktop app um, fails to sync all the files and you'll receive this error message. So I'm going to show you what that error message looks like. I'm going to show you how to fix files that fail to sync when that error message appears. And I'm going to provide a suggestion as to how to prevent that from occurring in the first place. So this error most often happens with users who are um, uploading several units of Google Classroom lessons to their Google Drive with the Google Drive for desktop app um, or several units of presentation notes and exams. If you're uploading a single unit of lessons or presentations, um, you usually don't experience this issue because the process doesn't take too long. But if you're uploading several units or an entire curriculum worth of Google Classroom lessons, the process can take hours. And if your computer falls asleep, the internet connection um, is disrupted and so this error occurs. So let's demonstrate what actually happens um, with my Nature of Science Google Classroom lessons. So I'm going to download these from Dropbox. These are available with my curriculum. Um, whether you're downloading resources from Dropbox with a curriculum or you're downloading resources from Teachers Pay Teachers, such as a unit bundle and you have a, a unit or several units of Google Classroom lessons, uh, the files are going to, by default, um, appear in your downloads folder. So most downloads will appear as a zip file. Sometimes uh, on a Mac computer, the zip file will automatically be decompressed, but if not, all we have to do on a Mac computer is double click the zip file to decompress it to see the contents of that file. Um, on a Windows computer, we would have to right click this file and find the option to extract the contents. So now what we want to do is minimize these windows. We are going to drag and drop these four units worth of Google Classroom lessons from my downloads folder into the drive folder. So I already have the Google Drive for desktop apps set up on my computer. Um, remember, you can cut and paste, copy and paste. I'm just gonna drag and drop. So I'm going to drag and drop these four folders into my drive. So the Google Drive for desktop app is working. Um, so let's say this is working for a while. I step away from my computer, my computer falls asleep, and the Wi-Fi is disconnected. I come back, the Wi-Fi comes back on, and the Google Drive for desktop app uh, turns back on. I can see that there's error messages here, and if I go to the app, I see this message here. Some errors occurred. Okay. So to resolve this issue, I'm going to click view. I don't have too many files here because I only had an internet disruption that lasted a few seconds. If the internet connection lasted longer, this list would be much longer. Um, and probably what I would end up doing is just deleting these folders and starting the whole process over again because I don't know which files within which lessons in the subfolders and uh, actually synced. So I would start the whole process over again. But here we don't have that many files. So to correct this issue um, and to resync these files that failed to sync, I'm going to click these three buttons and click retry. And I'm just going to go through this list and click retry for all these files. So there aren't too many here. 
I won't spend this entire video going through all of these, but you can see this is what I would have to do in order to correct any files that fail to sync. If for some reason you just have an unstable internet connection, um, maybe you're at work um, and your Wi-Fi signal is weak um, and it's just getting to be very frustrating that uh, it's going in and out, I would suggest stopping the process and trying to uh, sync files at home where your uh, Wi-Fi signal is uh, more consistent if you can work on a computer that can be connected to the internet um, with a uh, wired connection, with an Ethernet cord, you can do that as well um, so that you don't have to worry about a Wi-Fi signal being weak or uh, going in and out. So to prevent this issue from happening in the first place, um, if you're going to be syncing many files, we want to prevent the computer from falling asleep. So we need to adjust the energy settings. Um, on a Mac computer, we go to System Preferences and we find Energy Saver and we can adjust the turn display off to three hours or never. So for reference, if you will need uh, integrated science curriculum, syncing all of the Google app resources that are available to you will take five to six hours. It would be my suggestion to set this to never um, allow all the files to sync and then to adjust your energy saver settings back to whatever it is you prefer. I believe the default setting is 15 minutes. If you're on a Windows computer, I think a simple search um, in your system preferences will bring you to a similar um, window and you'll be able to adjust the uh, energy saver settings as well so that the display does not turn off after 15 minutes an hour or three hours. Um, you'd want it to stay, uh, you'd want your computer to stay awake for four to five hours. Um, you can leave it to never until you finish your syncing process um, and then adjust it back to the default settings. So I hope this video helps you uh, better understand why this error occurs, how you can fix um, files that fail to sync, um, and how you can prevent this issue from occurring in the first place. If you're still having some difficulty with file syncing, um, please send me an email at dsj.elkowitz at gmail.com. I'm always here to help you and to provide support in any way that I can.